Hey guys, happy homebrew Wednesday. Um, today I'm brewing some psychopathy uh, IPA. Go. Uh, psychopathy Pale Ale, Indian Pale Ale from Mantry Brewing Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. They put all their um, recipes on the internet on their website, so it's something I've been wanting to do, but I just, you know, one of those things where I kind of forgot, didn't do it, and then I'm like, well, you know. I need to do something. I want some. <clears throat> I want something. You need an IPA. I got a black IPA on tap, which is, which is that, which is clear as a stinking bell. Um, let's see. But mainly, what I'm talking about today is my new little doodad that kind of did to um, transfer from my mash tun to my boil kettle. Um, I was watching Tony Yates' video, latest video the other day, and someone had asked him why he uses a rubber hose and not uses as a, a like whirlpool arm. And you know, I struggle with the same thing. I used to, I used to add all my, used to transfer from the mash tun to boil kettle in um, in that like whirlpool arm, return arm, whatever you want to call it. And um, you know, once you get to about four gallon mark, you can't. It's basically a contained system, sealed system. You can't see what the hell you're doing, so you don't know what your gravity is. So you can easily get your gravity under under what it should be, 1.01 .01 or 1.008, whatever, whatever you guys here believe, work towards whatever. But anyway, and I've done that a few times, so I kind of sat down and I thought about it. My biggest thing was I always wanted to be able to control my my flow from this point not down at my pump and initially I had a rubber hose that I ran from my pump up to my boil kettle and um, you know it's, I'm lazy I don't need to bend over and it's just easier to go ahead and have a have a uh, have a valve here so I went ahead and I got on the old interwebs and um, went ahead and ordered everything I needed and this is what I've got so I've got basically a four, four foot piece of uh, tubing you know, uh, quick disconnects, ball valve, 45 and 90, and both of those pieces of short copper, about two and a half inches long, and, um, and I'm using that hose clamp that's holding on the uh, tube to actually hold the, the whole assembly in place, so that's that's where I'm at, that's what I'm doing. Um, let's see, what else have I done today? Let's see, I got... Two, let's see, two ounces of cold brewed coffee in my Founders Breakfast Out clone, and I'll be racking that, kegging that next weekend. So uh, that's all I got right now, guys. Hopefully you enjoy your weekend, enjoy your week. I'll see you guys later. Peace.